Hey compadres, Brian the Bold here, and today we're going to talk about a tank, and today also we're going to do a review. Sorry I'm moving too much, it must be really annoying. So I'm going to show you the Stugermitz or the Stug 3A. Really beautiful tank this is, as you can see right here. Um, it is a tank destroyer from the German line. Um, in the front, it has good armor, it's tier 1, so pretty um, good for its stature. The, um, the cross on the top is optional to put on. I just put it there so everyone can recognize what tanks I have, so let's move around and see what armor this little sucker has. Right, right about there. The armor consists of rolled homogeneous armor. The thickness is 50 millimeters. And the effective thickness is 61 and um, they can if you move around here you can get some weaknesses right here 60 going on the top 59 that little area right there so be careful when you're moving right here because not only that but if they get a good shot around this area right here they're going to wreck you and it's going to hurt now let's see what gun we have here we have the gun steel okay I have no idea what gun it is so I apologize let me see right here um, the turret rotation speed is none because there's no turret that we can sell. Um, but yeah, uh, this the weaknesses on here are the top right around here. So if you are angled down and your enemy sees you, you're going to probably want to move up because if you continue to move right there, they're going to be able to shoot your crew members, which will be right here. So if they get one good shot, they will not only injure this right here, um, but they'll injure this crew member, that crew member, probably this one. But they need to take out at least two out of the three crew members to make this tank ineffective and just flat out disgusting. Now right here you have your ammo rack right here, so if you're in the T1 battles and you meet up with a Stug, first off what you want to do is not try to fight it in the front because it's kind of suicidal and if you see it in long ranges because this thing is very effective in long ranges I would try to get away from the site immediately because it's, you're probably not going to penetrate the armor of this little beast um, at low tiers at like these so if I were you really be careful and try not to shoot at the hard the thickness of the things but in arcade modes you can see them all right the crew info is nothing because I don't have anything for crew so let's go back to vehicle x-rays let me go here as I said before we got the ammo the transmission if you move to the left over here we have another supply of an ammo rack right here so um, if you want to ammo rack the little sucker all you need to do is have first up good penetration around this area right here and penetration around here and small parts right here so your best luck and guess if you have good penetration I guess Stug versus Stug is to aim it around this area right here and then you got the gears so if you damage the gears you're going to slow the thing down and with any tank if you kill a crew member it's gonna take a little while but um, if I were you go with the back but even though you're in the back side of the tank doesn't mean you're gonna get full penetration because last time I tried to shoot one down on the back and it didn't really work out so yeah um, for War Thunder in this case Taking out the tracks isn't really that effective, in my opinion, because it's best if you try to shoot them at um, the, the weak points around here, not at the tracks, even though it leaves them immobilized and open for any fire rate, if anything, really. Um, you, might, you might want to go for the top one right here, and obviously there's weak points at the bottom down there that I can't show you all. I don't know why. But the modules of this little beast, let's... No, we're not going to go in the game quite yet. Um, actions, modifications are this. Um, you got the cannon. Can we upgrade that? Thank you. Cannon times one. Okay, we can't do anything with that. So the cannon that it has is the... I really want to know what kind of cannon it is because it would be really interesting. Um, yeah, let's try it. Okay, so the cannon 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 I don't know what it is but um, it's rank 1 tank destroyer the battle rating is 2.3 which is really important to notice because if you don't then um, you're not going to really live out 
the days, you know. Oh, here it is. You, this gun contains of its 75 millimeter STU K37 cannon times one. The ammo that contains overall is 44. The AT distance is 150 per thousand millimeters. The reload rate is 4.3. In my opinion, it's really good. Visibility 66%. Not bad for a 2-1 tank destroyer. Mass is 19.6 tons. Even though this thing can move really fast, or somewhat of a fast rate, not really slow. Engine powers um, 377 HP at 3,000 RMP, which is really helpful with the ton rate over here. Um, if you want to, you know, progress on, the reward is 30%. Not bad, but you can do better. But 6% is 5%, um, 6% of research point bonuses, which is not that bad. So if you want to go out with the stub and you really want to go hard with this, it's really good. So what I'm going to do next is show you some gameplay of the Stoop 3 and maybe give you some tips on how not to be so stupid like me because, you know, you want to succeed in worth it. Alright, so here we have the loadout for this little sucker. It is really not that bad. So here is the 75 millimeter gun and it has um, armor piercing effects, damage effects, not bad. Um, we have the HR the heat rounds and then we have heat high explosive entry tank another one and we don't have anything for this because I don't really choose to go for that so and overall again it's 44 camouflage I don't have any camouflage I'm thinking of you know going for one disabled I probably don't want to go that probably not so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and join a battle which will only take me a few seconds okay here we go Alright, so what you really need to do with this tank is to try to be a support tank, but know that know your limits as well because okay, know this. Your tank, this tank, the Stug 3A, is barely really good armor. But of course, with every tank there is a weakness. If you don't take care of those weaknesses, you're going to die. One of the weaknesses is the obvious ones is that this tank is not so in that case, if you are the opposite side, what you need to do is get on the sides of the stool. But beware though, if the thing can turn pretty fast, I mean look at this, you can probably do that also. Uh, it can probably outmaneuver you if you're not going fast enough. So be careful with that. But if you get on the back side, just try to be careful and try to get some good time. And then when you're driving with the stool, Try not to maneuver too much because you, you, you get slowed down a lot. So if I were you, be careful and try not to, you know, move out too much like this. Because if you try to uh, move around like this, not only will it make you slower, but it will open your sides. And you do not want to show your sides to any opponent. Alright, so you get the scope right there. You got no enemies so far in the sides. If you do die, I am going to do another video. Um, a clip, obviously, not an extra video, but like, I'm going to do another recording so I can actually get a good game to show you all what to expect. Now, this poor fella is showing his back side to us. So what we're going to do is not go in there because we are smart people and we're not going to do that. See how the armor is very effective and we got the foot. Alright, so here's a tip. Try not to open yourself to this, but try not to be aggressive. Of course, I acted aggressive because I was trying to find a good spot to try to um, open fire on the guy, but of course, it's not a good time. But with this tank, it has good penetration, somewhat of good penetration, and it hurts a lot. Look at that. It's two shots to that thing, and it's over. Technically, I only needed one shot to do it because, I don't know, really good um, damage. If you take out the tanks, it allows you to. So um, if you're a tank and you are trying to not die, uh, my caution to you is try not to get in front of the stoop. The stoop will hurt you and you are probably going to die if you do not move. If you don't maneuver out of the way. So we got another enemy right here. Obviously if you see the green spot that means a good shot and if the tank is down. Not only is the fire rate good, but the damage to this thing is fantastic for a tank, a tier 1 tank like this, and for the tanks that do not have armor whatsoever, it's fantastic, and I highly suggest you 
try to go for the scoop 3A because it's really great. So, if we're looking at this correctly, we have one crew member that is dead. Does not mean that he is completely lost, but one crew member is dead. Our Amorak to the bottom left of our tank is injured. So we need to remember that. So we might die in this because we have the armor to our disadvantage. But it looks like it's only a anti-aircraft machine, but and we got shot in the side. Now for this tank, I highly recommend you not get hit. Did you see that? I didn't see him. And we died. Well, you know, you gotta be careful with this tank. So if I were you, don't do what I did. And next time, I'm gonna try to be more focused because I really need to do a good job. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try another round of this to show y'all what exactly to do with the Stug 3A. Now, with the Stug 3A, again, as I said before, be careful with it. Even though it's a massive beast, as I showed you before, it has weaknesses. Weaknesses, of course, are the sides, so be really be careful. And the strong points of this thing is the armor. So, what are you going to do with the armor? Use it, obviously. So, the best way to use this armor on the Stug tank destroyer is to stay really far away. Um, use it, use the range, the advantage of the range of this little beast because it has pretty good range for a tier 1 tank and at 66%, at 66%, you can spot somewhat a lot of tanks at a really good distance, at 67%. And like a lot of people on this tier games like me aren't really focused and good at, um, at work on there now, but um, you still get the point of all this. But Hopefully we'll find some more enemy targets and we'll be able to show y'all the true power of the skill. Alright, so this is... See what I said? Gotta be careful. Alright, so we're gonna try to aim for an appropriate spot. We've missed, so we're gonna try again with this spot right here. And the ground target is destroyed. This tank is very, very dangerous, so if I were you to stay with me. Alright, we're going to use our range to our advantage, and our armor to our advantage as well. That was a really bad shot. Alright, so whatever that thing is, it's trying to get him. It's not doing a good job of it, but it did um, take out our trap. So, he killed it. Alright, so gun. So the gun is down, I think. Try to find... Okay, so it's around here. Alright, so I'm gonna repair it. Uh, repairing is very difficult because you really, really don't need to repair when um, you're in the open field like this. And I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. But if the game allows you to do this to move out of the way, put, um, put your tank in a good position where it will not get attacked and from there, do your best to survive. Alright, so we have successfully got our tank into a way it's still functional and it's still great. So don't do that, because we're only going to get pain. So we're going to up really be careful. In this way, we got flanked. Alright, so we really don't need to do that. And we got our ammo hurt and our crew members hurt. We got two crew members left and we have that. See what I mean? We really have to be careful with this tank. Yeah, it's good. Alright, so it was using armor penetration. Also, you need to watch out for armor penetration as well, because obviously it's going to penetrate you if you're not aware. So I'm really sorry if this thing has to be targeted, but I need to put my best. Uh, you guys will find something on the list the armor of the tank. That's pretty much what I wanted to show y'all. And see what you can guys do work with. It. But for now, I'm going to have to end the video. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like it, give it a like, support the red card. And this is Brian Bold, signing off. Stay bold out there. Ciao.